Now, put the camera back a little bit because I want you guys to see what I hear and see what I got to say. What's what's wrong with that? Well, we are in 2024. What would be wrong with that is I didn't have I didn't have this. I didn't have none of that. Because back in the day, old funk is what it was. Old funk was this. When you walk into the back in the 70s, when we walked into a stadium, we heard this for sound check. That pulse. That's what gave us that. Mm, uh, that's what made us do this. Oh yeah. Mm, oh yeah. Mm, oh yeah. Mm, oh yeah. So we lost that in 2024. And you can say what you want, but I heard a guy the other day on YouTube. I don't know if it was YouTube or Facebook. And he was playing this song. And, and after that line right there, I heard, I don't know what I was hearing. It was something that he was trying to make make it fit in now chip sharon you nailed that bro you nailed that song burnout edwards you wrote the song you wrote that bass line chip sharon you nailed it you the only two people i can hear i can say right now on youtube that actually nailed the that bass line what i heard this guy doing the other day was it was upsetting for a, a point because he had the true bass line, but then he tried to add some stuff in it to make it, I don't know what he was trying to make it do. But it was it was absolutely horrible um, to sit there and listen at him. Try to make something fit that don't need to fit in the bass line. Um, we're at 2024 right now, y'all. And don't get me wrong. I love runs. I love to hear pretty runs. I love to hear um, unorthodox, un, is that a word, unorthodox runs? That's not a word. Is I'm not the on. I'm not. I can't even say it again. <laughs> when when you make something up at the last minute, let me put that out of the way. All right, let's pull the camera close. When you make something up the last minute, unorthodox, unorthodox, orthodox is what I do. Hey, Hootie, unorthodox. That's what I was trying to say. Look, it didn't get out that way. All right, so when you can do unorthodox um, runs and they fit, that's the word, and they fit without getting in the piano player away, without getting in the horn player or the guitar player away, that is a great run. In 2024, we're having difficulties. You know, people could say, no, that's just the way it is, bro. It is right now. Okay, I get it. You go ahead and run with that. But back in the day, the bass lines were simple and they made people move. That made people move because they heard this. Nowadays, you know, it, it ain't gotten to. And it's it's there now. Um, back in the day, you know, you, when you hear a drum roll, even a sound check, it's like that is amazing. And then you hear the bass player tuning up, going. I miss those days, man. I miss those days, man. I mean, people that has gray like this will say, I miss those days. I miss those days. Um, the way things are right now, 
you know, you got kids doing super duper speed speed runs and stuff like that. And I ain't mad at them, bro. I say do what you gotta do. Hold on one second. That spider thought you can get away. Uh, but, yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, we're home, folks. We can do stuff like that. Um, but the way things are right now, it just is, it's, you know, to keep up with what's going on right now, you have to, you know, you have to get to the point where you have to have all this. <laughs> know what you're playing that's another thing that we could talk about some other time because you know a lot of these things these kids are doing nowadays is like they can't even tell you what it is but they can play it play the heck out of it um back in the day man you know when things were a lot simpler it was things were a lot funkier um and this is i i'm coming to the old cast man i'm not coming to you new cast because you new cats don't even understand what funk is yeah, I, and I'm going to say it just like it is. You know, you can be mad at me all you want to. <laughs> it don't matter to me, you know. But you guys don't really know what funk is. You think funk is, the more notes you put in, the more funky it is. Uh, there were some guys coming on, and I guess they don't come on my, my channel anymore. Um, as far as Facebook, they were posting, oh, this is funk. And, and you know, they will, have, they will start off really, really well. And then they get into all these runs. I'm like, bro, funk is not runs. When do you see funk here from funk being all that all that many runs? Take all the runs out, just keep it solid, keep it keep it grooving, man. That's funk right there, bro. Rick James and you know and 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 James Brown, Boosie Collins, you know all of them cats that had funk in them. Nate Nate, Nate 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 Phillips and you know these guys had funk, man, and they had schooling at the same time. Nobody say you had to be dumb. Nobody, did, did, who did, did you say that? Who did he say? Here's who he right here. He said, you ain't got to be dumb. You can know what you're doing and still do funk. <laughs> That's what he said. All right. So yeah, you, you can, you can know all the, the scales in the world, all the modes in the world. But when it gets down to, you know, making the older people groove. All right. And I mean, making the older people groove. It gets down to the basic stuff. Leave out the 32 runs and just play one note. You know, leave out the other 15 notes and leave, just play one note. And, you know, and, and then you back into the funk thing. You can be funky um, even with, you know, the way things are now. You can be funky now, but it's, not, it's all about the positioning of the note. That's what it's all about. When it gets a pass six, five, six notes, it ain't funky no more. Yeah. Yeah. You know. You know. <laughs> when it gets to to a point of <clears throat> how can I say this? When it gets to the point of you can't learn the, the beginning of the song um within two hours to a day, that's not funk. When it takes you more than 10, 15 minutes to learn a song, something is difficult. Something is missing. What's missing? Well, it's not, for gospel, the word is not really there. Like talking, you're not listening at the word, you're listening at the music, and the music is overtaking the word. I get it. I get it. I get it. This is this this video is not for you young cats because you don't want to hear this noise. This is noise what I'm talking right now. But I'm talking to the older cat. They got this around their face and around their lips and someone who colored it. <laughs> like, uh, you know, got a whole lot of black around here, but you can tell there's white on there. I'm talking about these cats. You know, I I love funk. I love what's going on in 2024. 
I love the young cats who can play. And when you tell them it don't take all that, they can stop it just like that and play simple. But when you get to the point where you can't play Mary Had a Little Lamb uh, without adding 30 runs to it, we're, you're in trouble. You know, and now, you know, we're going to also talk about a couple other things. This could be a day of oldness. <laughs> a day of oldness. When you get to the point where, and I'm going to say this because a lot of cats are doing it now. Back in the day, I used to tune down to E flat. Which would be B flat on a five string. I tuned down to B flat um, during my gospel days because I felt good with that. And somebody told me I had to do it. I get it. Um, now, I'm going to say this because I heard this one night and I was just floored. I heard a guy playing. He was tuned down to A. I heard him playing. Uh, what is it? Name song there, but it's uh, it's uh, 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 Tina Marie. What you say? No, it ain't that one, it's the other one. Um, I heard him do it in the key of it was in E, but he he was tuned down so low that it sounded wrong. And so, if you're gonna do RB, guys, you, you might want to tune back up to E natural because anything else will sound really, really for those who have perfect pitch, it's gonna sound really weird. I'm not gonna say it's wrong. But wave-wise is wrong, wrong, wave-wise. Oh, no, I'm tuned up at 440. Okay, I get that, man. But if you listen to it naturally, if you put a natural ear to it, it's wrong. You know, basically. If you put an uh, orchestra next to that, and they, they will sit there and go like, mm. he's not tuning E concert. <laughs> um, and they will hear it. But because we've been doing it so long, um, it's a natural to some of us. And then some of us, we could never go back to e-concert. It would actually be so much of a pain that um, a lot of us would just probably want to just give up playing you know, if you had to go back to e-concert. Um, but then there's a lot of cats that have been doing it all their lives, you know, 40, 50 years old, and they're used to it, and they can find ways to get around it. But then, you you know, you got the younger, younger breeds, and I'm not jumping on you young cats, man, but you got the younger breeds, who, if you tell them to tune in to eat concert and tell them why, um, they get upset. Some of them get upset. You know, do you want to get upset or do you want to get paid? Which one do you want to do? Yeah, I'd rather get paid. All right? I can retune my ear when I get home. But this gig takes it takes this ear. This is what the director wants. This is what the MD wants. This is what the band director wants. He wants this. Give him what he wants or don't do the gig. Simple as that. All right, so... Man, I, I, you know, I had to talk to you older guys today because it's just some things going on, man, um, on YouTube and, and social media. That's I, I sometimes I just shake my head. It's like, bro, are you, you know, how do you sound like I, I hear a lot of cats come on YouTube um, that is absolutely phenomenal until they get with a band, and you can sit there here and go like, okay. You can't play with a band because you've been playing by yourself so much that you, you're in overkill and nothing sounds good, even with a band. Because you don't know how to stay in your, how can I say it, stay in your office, all right? Everybody has an office. Guitar player, drummer, um, horn players, piano players, organ players, singers. Everybody have a, a, an office. Stay in your office. When you step out of your office, you step in the hallway. If everybody was stepping in the hallway, it wouldn't be a song anymore. It's just to be everybody in the hallway talking. And then when you step out of your office, step in somebody else's office, now you have a conversation going on that shouldn't be going on. All right? You're gossiping. <laughs> That's what you're doing. You're gossiping. So basically, you know, if you stay in your office, the whole song would be amazing. Because when you stay in your office, you can hear what other people are saying out of their office. And, it, and when there's a hole, you can feel that hole. Not every hole. Yeah. And speaking of every hole, I'm hearing guys, everything they play, <clears throat> they must fill up holes. I don't understand that. Why do you have to fill every, why is there a space and you have to fill up every space 
when you play. I don't understand that at all. It's like back in the day, you just played a note, and that note carried the whole song. You know, whether it was bass heavy or drum heavy or key heavy. I think we're missing the whole groove of what your instrument should be doing. There's a purpose for your instrument. And I know if I know the bass is out there now, because I mean I mean look at my band. I you know, I'm I'm a leader of my band. And I know sometimes I get out there and I'm like, no nah, man, he's too far out there. You need to come back. You know. Nobody ain't gotta tell me to come back. I gotta come back. But when you play with horn players, guitar players, keyboard players, organ players, you ain't got much to do. You know, but stay home and just be comfortable. You know. Stay in your pocket and be comfortable. No, when you start doing all these fancy runs and stuff, you're going to other people. You're going, you're going to other people's spaces. They may be doing something, and then you start doing something. And, and both of y'all doing something completely different. And that's when it becomes a train wreck. Ain't nothing pretty about a train wreck. It's just a train wreck. So I wanted to come up and talk to the older guys today. This is an old conversation. If you don't, if it upsets you, you don't want to be here anyway. Or you can be here to learn something. You know, um, I really miss um, the old sound of the old Fender Jazzes and the old P-Bases. I miss that sound. Um, that's why you hear, every once in a while you see me going back to the old Fender Jazz and the old P-Bases, because I miss that sound. Uh, everything right now is so high high and, and ear, ear synthetic that the ear never really gets trained to a real note. And I tell people, like, put an old jazz in your hand with nothing in it. This bass has nothing in it. It's just the way it came, stock. The only thing that looks different is the pickup covers. That's it. But this bass is naturally what it sounds like. And that's the coolest thing about this bass. It's got a 60 hertz hum, and it sounds like a jazz. It sounds like a jazz. That's what it's supposed to sound like. And I love this part about, about this bass. I love this part about retuning my ear. So to the old cats, hey man, nobody's mad at you if you're still playing the one noters. Nobody's mad at you if you're still adding more notes to your one noters. You know, nobody's mad at you. Um, learn the song. Play the song. Some songs are just way out there. You know, it takes time to um, sit down and learn them. But for us old cats, if you get opportunity, you some of you new cats, pick up your Fender Jazz and make yourself play this bass uh, or a P bass, four string P bass. You know, everything is five string now. You know, I gotta have a five. I gotta have a six. No, you, know, you ain't gotta have it. That's something you want to do. You ain't gotta have jack, but a four, a two o one. If you want to go that route, you know, you just need to play a note. One note is su sufficient to per stand. Stanza. I said Stanna. <laughs> what are you saying today? Um. So all you old cats, if you get a chance, come to and check out this video, man. I am talking to us, man. Not you, us. Because uh, whatever I'm saying is actually feeding my ear too. I I, I got to hear it too, man. Because I get out there sometime, and got to come back home. I got to come back home. When I listen to it, I'm like, ooh, that's way too much, man. You know, all that wasn't even necessary. But I did it, and I'm sorry I did it. Like that. You know, because I could hear the I could hear when it's not fitting. And a lot of people can do stuff, and they, they say, oh, it sounded great. But they never said it didn't fit. When you get to the point where you say everything you do sound great, you're in trouble. Because a lot of stuff you do don't fit. You, you know, you, it don't fit because... Not because you said it don't it, it fits or it don't fit. It don't fit because have you ever asked your keyboard player or asked your guitar player, hey man, you see that run I did? Was it how was that man? That was good, right? Well, you know, you got in my way. I, I couldn't do anything else. I only had one thing to do. And you got in my way. That's like a bass player playing a solo while the guitar like we we on we on a groove and the groove, I'll take the groovy sound like this. And the guitar is playing a solo. You know, if you're way up there, and you get in 
shit something else. Bass player, take the solo off. It's like, dude, it's not your solo. It's his solo. So why are you doing all this stuff in his solo? You know, stay home. Just stay there. That way he's got, he's like, and the guitar player's thinking, whoo, all this is mine. Piano player's thinking, whoo, all this is mine. Uh, organ player thinking, whoo, all this is mine. Horn player, whoo, all this is mine. And when you get to the point where you, where your band members are comfortable with what you do, no, with comfortable with your playing, then that's good. That's a good thing. Where they don't have to sit there and go, okay, I'm going to go ahead take a solo. Is he going to solo over me? Or he's going to take me over? What is he going to do? I don't know what he's going to do today. You know, that's when you're in trouble. You know, and guys, talk to your band members. We all can learn. We all need to learn. Um, I need to learn a lot of stuff. So I, I, although I write a lot of horn parts and write a lot of music, um, and piano stuff and stuff like that. Sometimes I still hear stuff that I shouldn't have done on bass. See, I'm saying that. That's me. And when you get to the point where you still sort of study, do like I do. You, you got. I bet some of you guys do not go back and hear what you did on certain gigs, or you go back and you listen to it and go, "I was killing that gig." No, you was all in somebody else's face. That's what you was doing. You wasn't playing a gig. You was just all in the, you know, somebody else's spot. Or your tone is wrong. Oh, my God. I haven't heard nobody play this tone in a long time. I'm going to play it. Listen. to play that tone in a while. What tone is that? All bass. This is all trouble. And that's a difference. That's the difference between here and here. We're so busy of uh, turning, making sure the bass got to have a lot of trouble because that's how it's going to cut in the mix. I don't want people to hear me. Uh, okay. Go ahead and run with that. Because if you're playing bass and you're already in an amp or you're coming through a, a board, people going to hear you. Unless your bass is jacked, you know. Um, they gonna hear everything you do, and it really depends on where they're sitting. If they're sitting anywhere close to what the bass is actually more distinct, they gonna hear everything you do. But some people feel like the more trouble, the more you can hear me. That's not the case. That's not the case, guys. Sorry, to hurt, sorry to hurt your feeling. That's why sometimes I go back and I listen at the cats from the sixties and the seventies, because they had tone, right? Now, and I use these 60s and 70s basses because they got tone, you know, and some of them have active electronics in it, but I try not to bring the activeness out. I try to let the bass go ahead and be itself. And maybe if I need a little bit more, it depends on the amp. If I need a little bit more bottom, I can dial in, not on the amp, dial in from my bass. Um... And because you know, I really think a lot of cats don't use old Fender jazzes and old P basses because they feel like they're not dialing in enough bottom and enough highs. So they have, and it has to be active. Now, when you learn, I didn't say master. When you learn the texture and the quality of one of these, nobody can touch you, man. When it comes to tone, nobody can touch. You can go to an active bass and make that active bass do things that other cats been playing that same bass for years can't make it do. And they will come to you and say, how do you get that tone out of that bass? Oh, well, 
I didn't turn up all of this. I didn't turn up all of this. I didn't turn up all of this. And so I get to tell. I can sit here all day and tell you about um, the old days. It won't really matter, man. Um, to some old cats, yeah, it would. To the new cats, no. It don't matter. We need to keep doing our famous runs. We need to sit at home and learn runs, um, but not learn music. <sighs> God, I did that. What did I just say? We need to sit at home and learn runs, but not learn music. Wow. Because we have to impress our, our boy who's coming to hear us play. He has to hear the runs that we have to do. But if I tell you, if I ask you that run you did, what mold was that? And why did you do that? Why did you start on the three? Why did you start on the five? And what mode was that that you did? That's when things get very crazy. Because half of them, I would say half of the people won't be able to tell you. Oh, it's just what I practice at home, man. You know, you know, that's just me, bro. Okay. I'll roll with that. You feel good about it? I'll roll with it. All right, so I know you guys are saying, man, Johnny's up here just saying stuff today. No, I'm just, it just felt, I just, I just felt like I need to talk to the older cats, man. It's like we're, we're being missed. The older cats are being missed. I, you know, I, I, <laughs> I'm going to say this, y'all. I listened to my, my pops play, you know, in church, and I listened at the tone he uses. Um, not because his hearing is a little bad, but I listened to his tone. Um, and it's amazing that the tone he uses, although his hearing is bad, um, it's just got a good texture. Um, and sometimes I try to steal it. I, you know, I listen to it, try to steal it. Steal his tone. Because we 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 don't need to get away from that tone thing. Because back in the day, y'all, and I keep saying back in the day, 60s and 70s and 80s, we had tone. We had tone. Now that the bases are out, now that, that you know, can knock a, cut a bird in midair. We don't need, we don't go for tone anymore. We just go for brittle and, and, and lightning and thunder. We don't go for tone. So, once again, guys, I'm going to let y'all go. But it was fun for me to sit here and talk to me and Hootie. It was sent, it was good for us to sit here and talk to y'all. Actually, for y'all to listen, because it was the good thing is listening. Yeah. But once again, I I, I want to tell you guys this this video is not for the young; it's for the old. I just want to talk to you guys and see if y'all thinking the same way I'm thinking. If so, speak it. If not, I get it. Shut the cock up, folks. Shut the lead we we'll out.